too drunk, 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 drunk from you again. Hey, hey, hey. I have come to drunk, 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 drunk from you again. Yeah, yeah. We have come to from your well Jesus draw from you again yeah, yeah. oh we have come to draw 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 from you again hey, hey, hey. Lord I have come to draw yesterday is gone Today I'm in need. I want to draw from you again. I want to draw from you again. Lord, I have come to draw. Yesterday is gone. Today I'm in need. I want to draw from you again. Holy Spirit, draw from you again. Hey, when I come to draw. This edition will bless your life. Amen. This edition will commence something great in your destiny. Amen. Amen. On behalf of our Father and the Lord, Pastor Light Alumolan, we welcome you. He's not here physically, but his spirit is here with us in the studio. And men of God are here also to be a blessing. The mistress of God are here as well to deploy their gifts to lead us into the presence of God. We are still on the Holy Spirit. Enjoy common ministries. The month of March 2023 is the month of the Holy Ghost and we have been having great time with the Holy Spirit across all our centers. We are enjoying what the Holy Ghost can do. And we know that tonight also something great will happen in your life by the power of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Now do not forget that um, Every Thursday in Joy Command Ministries, we meet 
at the headquarters for helping hand. We had a great time yesterday. We took just one prayer point from our Father and the Lord, and then God took control of everything. Tonight will not be different. But before we continue, we want to invite the mistress of God to lead us into the presence of God tonight, to bring down the presence of the Holy Ghost, to launch us into the realm of the spiritual. So we welcome the mistress as they lead us into God's presence. God bless you. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in the strength. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Oh, please protect Father of mercy and grace. Thou art welcome. again you are welcome Hallelujah. now there is this book in the bible in the new testament it is called the acts of the apostles mm -hmm. the book chronicles every strange manifestations by the hands of the men of god the bible talks about apostle peter whose shadow was healing the sick acts chapter 5 the bible talks about apostle paul 
The Bible says, Acts chapter 19, that anchor chiefs who are taken from his body laid on the sea, and those who were possessed, and they were healed. I mean, strange things happening. Mm -hmm. Now, tonight is Acts of the Apostle, part two. Because the men of God in the studio are apostles of God, and by them today, great deliverances shall be taking place in the name of Jesus. Amen. God is going to be using their mouth, their speech, mm -hmm. their utterance mm -hmm. to cause a destiny change in our lives Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. So, what we do tonight is like they say, we just allow them to flow. Mm -hmm. under the unction of the Holy Ghost. Now with me tonight in the studio are two men of God who are on fire for him. They are everywhere bringing souls into the kingdom. They are everywhere liberating men from sickness, from, from disease, from demonic oppression, bringing light into the lives of men. And through them tonight, Light is coming your way in the name of Jesus. Amen. I have with me in the studio Bishop Sam Olusomi and then Pastor Greatness Adisa. You are welcome to now. Glory, glory to Jesus. Good glory. to have you. Praise Good God. to have you. Good to have glory you. Praise and we believe that God will use you for everyone tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. I, I will start with um, Apostle Greatness. The disciples were like every other man yes. every other man gathered in one corner and in Acts chapter 2 the Bible says the Holy Ghost came mm -hmm. and not only their lives lives of men turned around mm -hmm. I remember Acts chapter 17 the Bible says they said these men that, has, that have turned the world upside yes. down yes. Yes. they are here again mm -hmm. and tonight I'm believing that from this studio who will turn the world upside down. Amen. Amen. You are welcome, sir. Amen. Lord. Now in Acts chapter, chapter 1 and chapter 2, the Bible chronicled to us something very powerful about this wonderful man. And not just men, but also women. Because maybe the mother of Jesus and several other ladies who are together with them in the upper room when the Holy Ghost came. So ordinary men and women were, were, were enveloped by the Holy Spirit. That means that the Holy Spirit is a game changer. Mm. No matter where you find yourself today in life, no matter the level you find yourself in life, when the Holy Spirit is introduced into any matter, the situation must change. Mm. In Acts of the Apostle, like you rightly said, the question is, how does the Holy Ghost operate? How does he operate? In 1 Corinthians chapter 12, God began to speak to us, giving us insight into some very powerful things that the Holy Ghost does in the life of the believer in the church. He said, now concerning spiritual gifts, Acts 12 verse 1, now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. They call them spiritual gifts. They are the gifts of the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Ghost begins to walk in the place through lives, and in the church, these gifts must begin to manifest. The church and many other persons have been confused about the operation of this gift for too long. Mm -hmm. But I'm trusting God that in this month of March, even right here tonight, mm -hmm. that the gift of the Holy Ghost will be restored back into your life. Amen. Amen. He says, I don't want you to be ignorant. Mm -hmm. So I believe very strongly, according to God's word, God doesn't want you to be ignorant. I don't know who you are, but there are these dimensions and gifts of the Holy Ghost that have been operating in your life either too. But for a long time, it seems as if these gifts have died out. In the name of Jesus yes, Christ, yes, in the name that is above every name, yes, we decree a revival of your gifts. Amen. Amen. A revival of the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. I'm to raise your voice I'm where you are. Father. Say, Father. 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 In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, reawaken the gift of the Holy Ghost. Reawaken the gift of the Holy Ghost in my life. In my life, revive this gift again. Revive this gift again. Open your mouth and pray. 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 Open your mouth and pray.
You know, these gifts, there are nine of them enumerated here in First Corinthians chapter 12, and they are divided into three compartments. These are not the only channel of manifestation, but they are very key. Three of them are gifts that reveal something, they are called the revelation gifts. Three of them are the gifts that do things, they are called the power gift. And three of them are the gifts that speak forth, they are called the utterance gifts. I don't know the dimension, maybe it's designing of spirits, maybe it's the gift of prophecy, special faith, healing, working of miracle, tongues and interpretation. It does not matter the realm that you have been operating and what you have been seeing the Holy Ghost do in your life before. But because of one thing or the other, the gift has become quite dormant and silent. I join my faith with the men of God in the house and I prophesy that in the name of Jesus, your head will grow again. Yeah. Your head will grow again. Yeah. Your head will grow again. Yeah. Your feet are coming to life. Yeah. Your feet are coming to life. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh. Bishop Sam, you know, I they said Acts chapter 4. Mm. They looked at Peter and his colleagues. Mm. And he said, These people are unlearned men. Mm. How come they are so bold? How they say a notable miracle has been done. Nobody can deny this. Mm. So how did nobody mm. suddenly become great person? Mm. Bishop sir. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you so much, uh, Pastor Sherson. This is an awesome moment. You know, um, Pastor Greatness has just pushed us into the river. Mm. Acts chapter 4, verse 13. Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled, and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. I want to emphasize something. For somebody that is watching this night, you are here right now, connected to this night of secrets. Don't ever, this is number one thing you must never forget. Don't ever think that the Holy Spirit is for pastors alone. Mm -hmm. No. We need to bring this thing down. The practicality of the Holy Spirit in the life of an individual. Whether you are a businessman, or a student, a policeman, a military person, a king, a politician, and you are connected tonight, this spirit we are talking about is so essential in your life. It will turn you around. Mm -hmm. It will connect you to a major flow of God and his gift and manifestation in your life. So two major things we must emphasize. Number one, when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, it gives you the open door to transform you. So the Spirit of God transforms a man. Whether you, are, you have weakness in your spirit, in your mind, doesn't matter. The Spirit of God transforms. Number two, this Spirit enables you. In Acts chapter 2, look at what happened. In Acts chapter 2, the Bible says they were going and they saw that somebody, Acts chapter 3 rather, Acts chapter 3, they saw a man that mm. was lame, mm. okay? And the man was expecting in verse 5, and he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive mm. something of them. Then Peter said in verse 6, silver and gold have I none. Mm. But such as I have, I give unto thee, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise and walk. In verse 8, the Bible says, And he, leaping and stood and walked and entered the, with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God. And all the people that saw him, saw him walking and they were praising God. Mm. This is how this thing works. When the Spirit comes upon you, it will change your marriage. It will transform your business. It will transform your life. But beyond that, and that's where we are going tonight. Mm. It will enable you to perform. Mm. No one carries this spirit that will not perform something. Yes, sir. That is why tonight I'm focusing on this. God is raising our means of doers. Our means of doers. People that will shake nations. People that will enter a desert and turn it to a fruitful land. 
That is the essence of the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is not limited to pastors. It's not limited to us speaking in tongues. Oh, I have the Holy Spirit. You can change your name from ordinary name to Holy Spirit. It doesn't carry anything. The most important part is that it will transform your life. It, it will change you. And you will not just be changed, but it will take you. There are seven things that the Spirit of God told me. They are going to be sharing with us very soon. What will this Spirit do in your life? But one major aspect is that it will turn you to a doer. You you will be enabled. You will be you will become something. People will look at you and look at your weakness in the past, the errors of yesteryears, and they will say, "Only the Spirit of God can transform a man like this." I pray for someone connected this night. May the Lord enable you. Amen. May the Lord strengthen you. Amen. Sir, only the Spirit can take ordinary stone inside the catapult of a seventeen-year-old boy and kill a giant who has been fighting for years. Only the Spirit of God can do it. And that is why we are going to lift up our hand, our voice and pray. Holy Spirit of God. Holy Spirit of God. Enable me again. Let's pray that prayer. Holy Spirit of God. Enable me again. I activate the Spirit for performance. Enable me again. Let the Spirit come. In before we continue sir we are going to repeat this prayer in this way this is what i've come to realize in my few years working with the lord people don't care how much you know they want to know how much you have done it's as simple as that you know so much fine show us the result mm. and the holy spirit is a result giver Hallelujah. that is why there are Hallelujah. people that will struggle to open door and there are people once they approach the door the door will open it's either there is a technology or there are people behind the door and people open the door for result it's as simple as that when the holy spirit is inside the man the bible says the spirit of god came upon him again and he took the whole gate of the whole city i want us to pray lord enable me lord, enable me. in this season of the spirit of god enable me to perform enable me to become a doer open your mouth and pray in the name of jesus my hand will not be weak in the name of jesus in the name of jesus that certain miracles certain miracles signs wonders will begin to happen in jesus name we are praying the last prayer please i want us to pray this last prayer as the spirit of god is laying in my hand the bible says as soon as jesus rose from the dead Acts chapter 1 verse 2 if you read from verse 2 until the day in which he was taken up after that he through the holy ghost had given commandment unto the apostles whom he had chosen verse 3 now please let's pay attention to verse 3 to whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs we are in the season of proofs mm. i pray in the name of jesus Marusha. in that house where you are right there in your office anywhere you are connected the lord will give you proof there is a dimension where a man is looking for proofs and there's another dimension where god turns into a proof lord turn me to a living proof by the holy ghost in the name of jesus lord turn me to a living proof in the name of jesus Lord, turn me to a living proof in the name of Jesus. And tell the devil, Jesus, we are praying. Amen. I, men of God, I want us to, by the grace of God, I want us to be doers to these people tonight. Mm. John chapter 5, the Bible said the man was there 38 years. Jesus came, went to him, rise up, take up your bed, and began to walk. Paul got some, we asked 19, yes. met some disciples. Uh, do you know the Holy Ghost? What is the Holy Ghost? You don't know. Taught them, lay down on them, and then they began to. So, which means we can activate something tonight for people. Mm -hmm. Through us tonight, the sick, the bedridden can jump up and start working. Yeah. Somebody whose business has collapsed can suddenly 
Things turn around. Mm -hmm. That is what God wants to use us for tonight. Our possible greatness. There is, there is a dimension of the Holy Spirit and there is a manifestation of the Holy Spirit that we know as the anointing. Mm -hmm. The anointing. The anointing is the manifest presence of the Holy Spirit. There is nothing the Holy Ghost does without the anointing. It is the anointing that we call the power mm. of the Holy Spirit. The anointing has a function, and the best way to understand the function of this anointing is to study electricity. Because the anointing flows <laughs> like electricity. This is very important. Look at what the Bible says in Acts chapter 10, verse 38. Mm. Acts 10, verse 38. It says, How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. and with power, who went about doing good. There was an anointing mm -hmm. before there was a doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is the anointing of the Holy Ghost that flows through a vessel that brings to pass or to bear the manifestation of what that person is expecting. Why am I saying this? You see, the anointing can travel through any means mm. because electricity travels through conductor. Electricity mm. travels through conductor. You can contact the anointing wherever you are. I want you to understand that there are different types of anointing. The Bible talks about the healing anointing. The woman with the issue of blood, she said in her heart, if I may but touch the hem of his mm. garment, I shall be made whole. Mm. Then after all said and done, Jesus said, somebody touch me. Peter said, we are all thronging you. And you said, somebody touch you? Mm. Because the Bible says, he perceived that virtue. That's the healing anointing. In Luke chapter 10, Jesus Christ was teaching and preaching the word of God. The Bible says, and the power of God was present to do what? To heal the sick. There is an anointing that is called the healing anointing. Yes, it is the healing anointing that administers healing. Hmm. Wherever you are, the no matter the sickness, yes, Lord. no matter the diagnosis of the doctor, yes, yes, there is an anointing yes, right now yes, that can break that yoke. Uh -huh. yes, High blood pressure, diabetes, yes, cancer, yes, whatever may be the sickness, whatever may be the affliction. Maybe you are holding an unhealthy device yes, or you are watching via a screen or a smart TV or something. It doesn't matter what you are doing. It doesn't matter how you are connecting it doesn't matter when you listen to this broadcast the 10 months from today one year from today it doesn't matter how you are listening live right now wherever you are let your faith come alive yes, yes, yes. and in the name of ah. jesus christ by the anointing of the holy ghost in the name of be healed now be healed now be healed now command your blood sugar level to normalize. Amen. I command your blood pressure to normalize. Amen. We command yes, that yes, devil holding yes, you in yes, that wheelchair yes, to yes, turn you loose. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I command your death here to open. Amen. I command that tongue to turn you loose. Amen. I decree your healing now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The, the reason why some verses are under certain affliction is not because they of biological issues. Some people are born with congenital disorder. You know, there are issues from, from the womb, the way they came out, and so on and so forth. But you see, there is a demon responsible for certain affliction. Mm -hmm. The anointing has a solution to this. The anointing has a solution yes. to it. The anointing can expressly deal with demonic affliction. Mm -hmm. And Jesus encountered this. They brought a, a young a young lad to Jesus that was dead, dumb, and mute. This guy was so was so bedeviled by so many things. The Bible says that Jesus rebuked the spirit, That's and from that moment he became well. You see, there is a demon responsible for the affliction. Mm -hmm. There is a demon called cancer. Mm. There is a devil that is called paralysis. Manaya, there yeah. is a demon that is responsible for the leprosy. Mm. That inching in your body, 
of that affliction, maybe you are here, you are just happening, you are having boils popping up in all manner, all areas of your body. These are affliction. Somebody sits in the night and in the dream, somebody touch your head, you wake up, you start having migraine headache. I don't care the stronghold the name of the power Jesus. that is there. Oh. There is an anointing yes, right here yes, now. Lord. Yes, Lord. In the name in of the name Jesus, of Jesus, I command that Grand demon Lord. to turn you loose. Yeah. I command yes. that demon to turn you loose. Yeah. 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 I decree your deliverance now. Yeah. 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 We decree your freedom now. Yeah. 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 We delivered now. Amen. Be delivered now. Amen. In the name yes, of Jesus. Amen. In the name yes, of Jesus. Amen. In the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. This, this is serious this is a serious issue tonight whatever it is that is called any spell i'm hearing the voice of the lord that spell is broken invisible power walking around that house where you are walking into your room wasting your resources Sleeping on the bed when you are not there. Ah, mm. standing at the door when you close it. Let the fire of God destroy them now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. There is no distance in the realm of the spirit. Yes, at all. Wherever at all. you are, you are connected to this night of secret. In the name of Jesus, your eyes is open. Amen. Your ears are open. Amen. Amen. The pain will disappear. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I, I saw something in 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 9. And that is where we are going to pray tonight again. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 9. He said, but as it is written, I has not seen, nor hear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. Verse 10. Look at verse 10. He said, but God has revealed them unto us oh. by his spirit. Yes, yes, yes. For yes, the yes. spirit searches all things. Yes. Yea, the deep things Hallelujah. of God. Hallelujah. There is a dimension a man gets to mm. only by the spirit of God. Mm. It gets you into deeper dimension mm. of life. You become a, a, an enigma mm. you become a surprise to yes, people yes, yes. and that is the prayer i'm praying for somebody Amen. tonight Amen. that the spirit of god will begin to take you higher Amen. Amen. you are doing business on shallow water before ah. after this meeting the lord will take you to deeper water in the name of jesus Amen. Amen. number one prayer before we pray that prayer look at these seven things if time permits us number one the spirit of god is a communicator he will communicate into your spirit so we don't receive the spirit to speak in tongues in church we don't receive the spirit so that we can just become emotional and then we shake that is not the holy spirit he talks to you he communicates tonight i pray for everyone your ears are open amen. Amen. i said your ears are open amen. you will know what to do amen. that is why prayer is not a monologue prayer is a dialogue so when you pray to God, the Holy Spirit will communicate to you. So our God by Spirit is a communicator. Let's pray this prayer loud and clear. Say, Father, Father, open my eyes, open my, eyes. Open my ears. Open my ears. What, I what I need to know for the journey of my life. Reveal to me, Lord, by the Holy Ghost. Let's open our mouth and pray what I need to know. What you may not have sickness in your body, but there is a secret you need to know. You may not pain your body, but there is a dimension of communication by the spirit. He will lead you, he will guide you. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Number two, when this spirit is upon a man, he helps you to make the right choice. He makes you to decision making becomes very, very easy. You, it will guide you into the right thing that you're supposed to do. And that is why many people are in pain today. Not because of the absence of the Spirit of God, but because we do not listen and allow Him to lead us. So, mm. decision making. Decision determines destiny. Mm. It is your yesterday's decision that determines what your life looks like today. Mm. And I pray for everyone connected tonight. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. From today, you begin to make right decisions. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Sir, permit me to say this before we pray. 
when satan wants to destroy a man's life he will make him to be deaf and dumb to the things of the spirit i'm telling you it will make him it will look as if the spirit of god is not talking it, the spirit is moving everywhere but the man will not hear and then satan is just pushing him to make wrong decision luke chapter 15 and the younger brother stood up went to his dad and said give me the portion that belongs to me he took it and then he went away wrong decision let us pray say father father in the name of jesus by the, the holy ghost guide me guide in me. all my decisions all my open your mouth and pray that prayer in the name of jesus please let's pray throughout this year guide me lord that i will make the right decision in the name of jesus that i will not make wrong decisions in jesus name we are praying amen the lord said i should pray for someone before we go to the third one before we pray again anyone under the influence of our voice as we join our faith together in this place in the name of jesus any decision you have made that is bringing pain and trouble to you ah. this night there is a turn around amen. there is a turn around amen. decision you can't reverse by yourself amen. i pray tonight by the spirit of god ah let the parliament of heaven meet now amen and scatter that arrangement amen. and scatter that arrangement amen. in the name of jesus amen. it is done amen. before we continue god's servant number three when the spirit of god comes on a man when you are lying to walk in your life because his assignment is to transform you and make you so this thing is not about it's in me uh -uh. It, it makes you number three it gives you good character the holy spirit is a character reformer a man or a woman that has no good character by the time the spirit of god comes upon you you may not know how to talk before say leave me alone that is how we talk in our family my father is alive my mother is alive we will shout everywhere but not when the spirit of god is leading you and that is why i pray for someone today you will not miss opportunity Amen. Amen. there are people that they messed up with their helpers messed up with people that are supposed to lift them because of bad character but when the spirit of god is upon a man it will make a man to be humble even though he's so great and that is why i want us to pray spirit of the lord, spirit of the lord. let my character, let my character conform with your spirit, with your spirit. this is a serious prayer let's pray that prayer spirit of god walk on me O lord that i may behave myself according to the leading of the holy ghost in jesus name we are praying amen i come against every pride in anyone's life tonight amen. let it dry in the name of jesus amen listen this hour this is the 18th day of march 2023 mm. by the time this night of secret is over you will sleep and wake up you will realize that pride is disappearing in the name of jesus amen. so people can't keep secret they must talk they must talk after this encounter the lord will breed you your tongue amen let me have this one i want us to pray number 14 the spirit of god will do for you he will give you victory so god the spirit of god is the god that conquers any battle anywhere it doesn't matter whether you are in africa or you are in europe i pray tonight in the name, in the name of, jesus. of jesus battles you cannot explain the holy ghost will fight for you amen i said the holy ghost will fight for amen. you amen can we turn it to prayer say father father in the name of jesus, the name of jesus battles jesus. beyond my satirity like battles like beyond my head holy ghost i by fire open your mouth and pray Battles beyond my explanation. Battles beyond my head. Battles beyond my explanation. Let it scatter by fire. My other shall by Let it scatter by fire. Oh my God. My other In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. I'm going to ask the ministers to. Lead us in two worship, you know, so that we can continue from there. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Pastor Greatness, so it should be three years now. Mm -hmm. A man came from, from Abuja, I think, to serve Father and the Lord. His, his detox was already decaying when he came, you know, and uh, by the Holy Ghost, 
he was healed. Hallelujah. He was healed. The Bible says in Acts chapter 14 mm -hmm. that Apostle Paul was speaking somewhere mm -hmm. and he saw a man on whether we tear impotent. He said he saw him that he had faith to be healed and he said, Mr. Man, get up. And I am amazed at what the Holy Ghost does mm -hmm. through his servants. Mm -hmm. So Pastor Greatness, after the worship, I want you to speak. Mm -hmm. that, that, there are lives that must change this night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like I said when we are starting, I believe this is acts of the apostle part two yes. mm. that, that must be around. people who by monday morning Man, they will say thank god i saw that video Man, so sir after hey. the after the oh, worship song mm. i want you to speak i want the holy ghost to Man, i want something stirred up in yes, inside yes, yes. and speak to these oh, people watching Man, starting from us in the studio and Man, let there be changes Man, immediately Man, around Jesus, the mistress Man, just give us two worship Man, songs Flow, yes, let it flow. Lord, in this day, yes, sir. let your healing come. Oh, 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 in this day, oh, for signs and wonders. In this day, let your presence flow. Yes, Lord, in this day. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hear the word of God by the Holy Ghost where you are. Right now there is a visitation. Amen. The need of the Holy Ghost. Amen. There is a warm glow from yes. the crown of your head yes. to the sole yes. of your feet right yes. now. Yes. That's the Holy Ghost. Yes. The spell of your destiny is ever removed. Amen. The spell, the spell. The the spell. That place is spell of your head. This long spell, this eight long spell. In the name of Jesus, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, we break the yoke. Amen. 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 I want you to speak to me. That woman ran to the prophet of God. Says, Sir, we are dry. My husband died dry. I am dry. My children are about to be taken away. There is dryness everywhere. And the man of God said, That small hole in your house. Let the Holy Ghost multiply. Yes, yes, yes. And she yes. began to pour. Yes. She was falling. To the vessels. Yes. yes. And suddenly, yes. the house was full. Mm -hmm. She came by the man of God and said, Don't worry, go and sell it. Mm -hmm. Pay your debt. Mm -hmm. So, which means that with the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. the dry land can yes. become springs yes. of water. Yes. Yes. I yes. want to pray mm -hmm. and speak into mm -hmm. dry families, mm -hmm. dry businesses, mm -hmm. dry ministries. Mm -hmm. I want you to speak, Bishop. Oh. Begin to speak, sir. Begin to speak. Tonight, by the Spirit of the Living God. Wherever men have said to you, this is desert. In the name of Jesus, water begins to spring up. By the Holy Ghost, where they are called desert, where they said, this one, nothing good can come out of it. That business, that marriage, that health, that career, receive new water. Romans chapter 8 verse 11 Romans 8 11 but if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you he doesn't dwell in us for show he doesn't dwell in us for fashion he doesn't dwell in us so that we can be braggadocious he dwells in us so that we can show results and this thing walk in three dimensions when he dwells in you he walks in your spirit in your soul and in your body that is why sickness can be there that is why your soul cannot be dry you can't carry the spirit and be become a non entity no it's not possible you can't carry the spirit and become a failure in the name of Jesus, we have money as dry. We command the angel of money to bring to you. Business has collapsed. This hour, we command the business to survive. We command revival by the Spirit. That ministry that is already closing up, a coup We didn't say God didn't call you. He called you. He anointed you. But suddenly there was a storm. 
but there is a spirit that can swallow stones. Yes. This hour, let the storm stop. Amen. Let the storm stop. Amen. Let the storm stop. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. you are connected Amen. to this night of secret, but you are confused. At this hour, tears. Look at tears. But this hour, by the power of the Holy Ghost, your tears are wiped up. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord said, I should pray for someone. Because you have been receiving no, 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 no. This hour, your doors are open. Amen. You begin to receive yes. Amen. In the spirit that rests Christ from the dead. Dead. Dead means nothing anymore. Dead means forgotten. Dead means approached. Dead means disconnected. Whatever is dead in your heart, this hour, let them come back to life. Amen. The woman was thinking, let me hit and die. Myself and my son. But she became a distributor. Hear me, child of God. The Holy Ghost is not for decoration. It's to come upon you so that you can become a distributor. After this encounter, you will become a distributor. I, I hear God saying, say to my people, where you have gone to bed, you become a distributor. The people you look up to, the people you can't survive without them, you will begin to give to them. Your oil will not run dry. In the name of Jesus. Let's go ahead and pray in tongues. Holy Ghost, surround this house. Holy Ghost, take over the certificate. Holy Ghost, take over the wound. Holy Ghost, take over. Holy Ghost, and they are the last in Prataya. By the Holy Ghost, money is coming. Money is coming. Money is coming. Money is coming. By the Holy Ghost. Ah, by the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Now the last thing we are going to do tonight Amen. before we give our offering. Amen. He said, I am not the Christ. Somebody is coming after me. He will bat. I, I cannot even unlace his shoe. Mm -hmm. I'm not worthy of him. But when he comes, he will baptize you Glory. with the Holy Ghost. Oh. And, with power. Yes. and then your life turns around. Amen. I but I want us to transmit this tonight. Those who are watching us, but they desire to speak in tongues, but they've not been baptized. Mm. Like Paul did. He didn't know them before. He just saw them. Newly com new converts. Yes. You have not been baptized. He laid his hand on them and desire to speak in tongues. I want us to transmit that. Mm -hmm. to, I want us to yes, release yes. the baptism of the Holy Ghost to those who are watching tonight. Mm. They are born again. Mm. I mean, look at Cornelius. They mm. were not even born again before they started speaking mm. in tongues. Mm. So I want us to transmit the, transmit the Spirit of God. In Acts so, chapter 10. Okay, sir. In Acts chapter 10. Mm. The Bible says that while Peter yet speak the word, he mm. the word, he says that the Holy Ghost fell on all them that mm. and they began to speak in tongue and prophesy. Mm. He says so much so that the circumcised, the Jew that came with Peter, were amazed mm. that even upon the Gentiles, the Holy Ghost is poured and his gift is manifested. Yes. You know, please understand this. Mm. Wherever you are on planet Earth, yes. I need you to understand this. Mm. That distance is not a barrier mm. with the Holy Ghost. Mm. There is no, there, it is not a rocket science. Mm. There is nothing difficult or complex about receiving the Holy Ghost. Mm. The receiving of the baptism of the Holy Ghost is part and parcel of the simplicity of the gospel that yes. all the apostles spoke about. Mm. Everywhere they went, there was no complexity that about is, it. Paul the apostle yes. arrived at Ephesus in Acts of the Apostle chapter 19. Have ye received the Holy yes. Ghost? They say we have not had, beginning from verse 1, we have not had about any Holy Ghost at all. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. What baptism now did you receive? He said we got the baptism of John. John. He said it's good, but it's unto repentance of sin. Having spoken all this, the Bible says he laid hands mm. upon them, and they received the Holy Ghost, mm. and they began
began to speak in tongues. Listen to me wherever you are right now. Yes, it's about faith. It's about yes. faith. It's about faith. We were sharing a while ago in church, uh, uh, yesterday in church, and it was very important, very, very important that you can receive, you can receive a wrong spirit yes. if you that yes. are evil yes. know how to give good gifts unto your children. Yes. How yes. much yes. more yes. shall your heavenly yes. father give yes. the yes. Holy yes. Ghost yes. to them that are asking? Yes. You can't ask yes. him yes. for bread and he will give you a serpent. Yes. You can ask him for fish and he will give you a stone. He is better than your daddy. He is better than my daddy. He is a good God. If your faith is alive, we are going to pray in the Holy Ghost. I want you to make contact as a point of contact. Touch that device. If you are holding a mobile device, a handheld device, you are watching through a computer, a laptop, whatever it is, I want you to touch it right now. Place your hand on the keyboard, put your hand at the back of it as a point of contact. Contact. All the apostles, the Bible says he lay hands on them. Put your hands there right now. We we'll stretch forth our hands. We are laying our hands upon you and we are transmitting. As we begin to pray in the Holy Ghost, wherever you are, there will be a vibration where you are. We sing the Holy Ghost. Yes. Yes. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Yes. From the studio. Yes. As we pray in the Holy Ghost. Right now. Right now. Everybody here is praying in the Holy Ghost now. The Lord is coming. spoke to me so you have left out some people some people are watching tonight you are not born again mm. it's a waste of time you have to have in him mm. before you get what is in his hand you are not born again he wants you to come to him tonight That's That's he wants you to be his own mm. this night That's true. so wherever you are and you know Christ is not in your life, or you are backslidden, it is time to make things right with him. I don't think we have ever done this before, but he spoke to me about you now. So wherever you are, just say this simple prayer with me, and your name will be written in the book of life. Amen. Say Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I come to you tonight. I come to you tonight. With my body of sin. With my body of sin. I have realized my errors. I have realized my errors. And I've come to you for help. And I've come to you for help. Forgive me, Lord. Forgive me, Lord. Wash me with your blood. Wash me with your blood. 
Write my name in the book of life. Write my name in the book of life. I receive grace to go and sin no more. I receive grace to go and sin no more. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Amen. Jesus name. Congratulations. Congratulations. Glory. 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 My name is in the book of life. Amen. Amen. Now please. Take your phones, it's time to give your offering, Hallelujah. your tithes, or your seed. The details on the screen are, Bishop, please Glory pray on God. our offering and our seed. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I believe that we know one of the proofs that the Spirit of God is in your life is obedience. Very important. And seed sowing, giving of our offering and our tithes is a sign that you are indeed following the Spirit of God. As you sow your seed tonight, your offering, your tithe, wherever you are, and your pledges, may the Lord accept them. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless your seed. Amen. Amen. What is living in your hand is called a seed. It will come back to you as an harvest. Amen. Amen. And I pray for you. The Lord will give you a press down, shaking together, and running over this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Once again, on behalf of our senior pastor, our fallen Lord Pastor Lighton Molano, we thank you for being a part of tonight's edition of Night of Secrets, and we know you have been blessed. Do not forget to join us on Sunday at the headquarters here, 8 a.m. on Sunday, as we continue our discussion and experience and encounter in the Holy Spirit. Until then, remain joyful. Amen. God bless you. Very good. satisfy listen listen to me and eat what is good and you will delight in the riches of fair give ear and come to me listen that you may live I will make an everlasting covenant with you my faithful love promised to David see I have made him a witness to the peoples and a ruler and commander of the peoples surely you will summon nations you know not Nations you do not know will come running to you because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel. For He has endowed you 